Hot Topic just had their Funko Scare Fair 2024, where they released five exclusive Funko items in their stores last week. And I've also been eyeing up a few other Funko releases recently. So we're going to take a ride to my local mall to see what we could pick up from the Scare Fair and if we could find anything else cool at any of the stores in the area. So uh, let's take a look and see what we find. Hope we find something cool. Alright guys, so the first store we're going to check out is Hot Topic, and uh, after all the madness for the Scare Fred died down, I was able to check out what they had in store. You can see they got these new One Piece Wave. These pops look really good, especially for One Piece fans. I love that Luffy. He looks really good. So yeah, definitely nice to see these in store. And I was able to check out their pop wall as well, and this had a ton of pops. Nice selection here. Wasn't really seeing much that I needed or anything I needed to pick up, but it was nice to see that they had a nice selection of pops. You can see here they have the, the Care Bears Universal Monster line, uh, that Bugs Bunny for Halloween, a couple of Stranger Things pops. Down on the bottom you see these Funko Fusions here. I love seeing the Funko Fusions out in the wild. Uh, that Patrick Batman. Coming down here, these new Godzilla and Insidious releases. That Glow Mall. Just a really, really nice selection at Hot Topic. Their Pumpkin Stitch there. That Blacklight one that came out recently. So they, yeah, they definitely had a lot of pops on hand. And some biddies. If you're a biddy collector, they definitely had a fair amount of those on hand. So yeah, nice to see that. And we uh, did come away with some nice stuff from the Scare Fair. So uh, definitely going to show that off later. You can see I uh, got a couple couple of items here. But uh, on to the next one. And the next store we're going to hit up is Newberry Comics. They always have a large selection of pops here. Starting in their big section. And then coming on over to their main section of pops. This is all their new releases. They have those Universal Monsters in the uh, orange boxes. They like the comic stylized ones. A couple Ninja Turtles. Some Digimon. Just a, a lot of pops here and there. New section. Uh, over here they have their anime section as well. A couple of Naruto pops. Coming on around to the other side, we have some JJK and some Chainsaw Man. Demon Slayer. Pretty much every anime, you name it, they will have it here at Newberry Comics. Searching over the anime section a little more. Again, not really anything that I need to pick up for my collection. But if you are looking for a wide array of pops, definitely check out Newberry Comics, that 18-inch Harry Potter. And they did have the new Biddy displays, which I think looks really cool. This was interesting. This is the Batman one. I think these look really cool. And they come with the two Biddies on the inside. And again, a nice selection of Biddy Pops here as well, just like the headed Hot Topic. So if you're a Biddy collector, this mall will definitely do it for you. And coming back over to their other pop wall, they have a an even bigger selection here than they did at Hot Topic. Just so many pops to choose from. All their sports stuff here. A couple baseball uh, with the playoffs starting and basketball season right around the corner. They have that glow-in-the-dark Boba Fett, which I think is a really cool-looking one. The glow looks really good on that. As well as the new Django Fett mold. Uh, nice to see that. A couple Disney over here. Just much much larger selection than it did have at Hot Topic. But again, if you are a collector and you're looking for, you know, some more common type pops, Newberry Comics is definitely a good store for you to check out because they have a large selection. And then over here in their, I guess, Grail case, they have all their different chases. That Smurfette, the Loopy Gear 5, Axel Rose, the Ichigo, just nice selection of chases as well. And then finally hitting up our Box Lunch. This section here, not as big, uh, just not a large selection like the other stores. You can see they have that Skeletor up top and uh, from the Fusion, and then a couple of those new One Piece ones as well. The Gingerbread Harry Potter, their exclusive uh, Scented Donkey, which is great. I do have that. And the Darth Maul, and then a couple other bigs up top. And they did have a couple behind the counter that we're going to get to uh, later on. But yeah, this is... This is their selection, uh, the, the new Sesame Street, the Elmo and the Cookie Monster, a couple of new Stranger Things, and then again, some more anime here on the bottom. So just a smaller selection, but a decent selection here at Box Lunch. So always like checking out this store as well. All right, so we're back, and that was a nice little trip to the mall. Uh, the Scare Fair was great, and I was actually able to pick up all of the items from that. So we're going to start off and take a look at all of those first. First item I was able to grab is the Bloody Ghost Face. People love Ghost Face. This is a really, really great mold. I love blood on it. Just think it looks really good. So I'm glad I was able to pick this one up. Uh, this was probably one of the hotter items at the releases. This did sell out on that day. So I was really glad I was able to pick this one up because uh, it's just a great, great looking pop. 
The next one I was able to pick up is the Evil Ash from Army of Darkness. Also a really good looking one. I don't think we've gotten an Evil Ash before, so this is a nice pop to uh, to add to the collection. This is a nice looking one. Uh, so yeah, really glad Funko branched out on this one. Just looks really, really good. And uh, glad I was able to grab this one too. The third item is the Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which apparently is celebrating the 50th anniversary of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I did not know that. Uh, Leatherface is always good. It's a horror icon, so this is a great one to pick up as well. So, you know, if you see this at your Hot Topic or for the Scare Fair, definitely, definitely grab this one if you can. And the last pop I was able to grab is probably the hottest one of the release. And this is the Art the Clown here. People love Art the Clown. The Terrifier movies are incredible. So this was definitely one that was being sought after at this release. I just think this is a really good looking pop. The blood, the blood on this looks great. And I also just think the boxes, they did a really good job on the boxes with these. Uh, the Scarefair stickers great. The red and black boxes just go so well with all the, the bloody variants and spooky season and Halloween. I just think they did a really, really good job with this release over at Hot Topic. And the last thing I was able to grab from that release is yet another Art the Clown, but this is the Soda Art the Clown. And not only is it just a soda, it is also the Chase. And they put the Chase sticker on the outside of the cans for this release for some reason. Don't know whose decision that was. Was it Hot Topic? Was it Funko? Uh, but yeah, if you were the first one there, you're able to grab the chase. You could just pick it and say, yep, that's what I want. So that's what I did. And I was able to walk away with the Art the Clown chase. But Hot Topic was not the only store I was able to find some things that I wanted. I also stopped by Box Lunch, as you saw, and I was able to grab two things from that store as well. First thing I was able to grab from Box Lunch is the Funko Fusion Cylon that just came out. But not just any Cylon, this is the Edified Chase version. I love it. I love the edified ones, the purple. They just look really good. It's just nice finding a chase in the wild. And again, as I said, I love these Funko Fusion boxes. I think they look great and they look even better with the purple pops on the inside. So glad I was able to find this one over at Box Lunch. But I didn't just find one chase at Box Lunch. I found two and I was able to find the Roronor Zoro chase from One Piece. This is also another great piece. One Piece, super hot. Everyone's going after these pops. Zoro, just a super popular character. I love the way this one looks. Love the bandana, the sword in the mouth, and just finding chases in the wild is, is just awesome. So I was really glad I was able to find this one as well. So let me know, guys, were you able to make it out to the Hot Topic Scare Fair? And if you did, which items were you able to pick up from that release? Or have you found any chases on any of your recent hunts lately? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for this video. If you haven't and you did enjoy it, please like the video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're really close to 3,000 subs. So if we can get there, that would be amazing. That would mean the world to me. So if you guys haven't, just please like and subscribe to the video. And as always, thanks for watching.